The Manchester derby has always produced passion, commitment and huge desire. And the match at Main Road in November 1993 proved no different. City were languishing in 16th place while their bitter rivals United had an eight-point lead at the top. The Blues hadn't won a derby in four years and needed strikers David White and Niall Quinn to be at their best. Mike Sheeran was the club's top scorer and played behind the front two. Manager Brad Horton made just one change following a 3-1 defeat at West Ham. Steve Lomas making way for Michael Vonk. Alex Ferguson surprisingly left out Ryan Giggs in favour of Andre Kanchelskis. Mark Hughes and Gary Pallister returned after being omitted from United's shock midweek exit in the European Cup against Galatasaray. Your match commentator is John Champion. Robbie Hart gets the 128 Manchester derby underway. The first of these meetings was played out in November 1894, 99 years ago this week, when Manchester United visited Manchester City and emerged as winners by five goals to two. United with the edge historically. City, the self-styled people's club in Manchester. The United manager has a good record in this fixture. Quinn's header. This is Roy Keane. Back to Steve Bruce. Manchester United leading the table handsomely. Eight points clear of Norwich City. And here's Keane linking up well and Hughes wants it in the middle. And there is Hughes! But he made no contact whatsoever. What a good opportunity for Manchester United to take a very early lead here. And City will be alarmed at how easily they were undone. Hughes defeated by the bounce. Last time Manchester City won the derby was in 1989. The 23rd of September is a date ringed in red in their history. Because it was the day they beat the Reds 5-1. Here's Edgehill. And that's a corner. Well, surely Schmeichel's not arguing with that decision. It was a good foot over the line. There's like a ruck and a, an argument every now and again, Peter Schmeichel. Just watch this. Deflection off Dennis Irwin. It's well out. And it is rightly a corner. Sharon. Lee Sharp that cleared it behind. Take two. McMahon. Alan Kernigan. Quinn got his head to it. And it's... I was going to say easy for Schmeichel, but he collided with Keane. Two of the most committed and most voluble characters on the pitch. You can see and almost hear the call from Schmeichel of mine. Most inelegant. Mark Hughes. Face of it, it's a pretty negative Manchester City lineup with Keith Curl playing as a sweeper. Given their league position, 16th, 14 points from 13 games. They can't really be blamed for taking a cautious approach. Field battle between Flickcroft and Ince is going to be key. Sharps cross. Keane struck it really well. It wasn't a difficult save for Tony Coton in the end. But even so, Roy Keane's arrival from midfield. Caused a few worries for Manchester City. Kanchelskis. 
Keane. There's Keith Curl. Flitcroft. Manchester City who've been struggling for goals this season. Just 12 in their 13 league games. And they've drawn a blank in five of them. And here's Keane. And Coton Smothers. It's not the first time that Manchester City have been exposed at the back. Shouldn't really be caught out by one pass. And that's what happened. Keane was looking around for support. There was none. He had to go it alone. Quinn, Sheeran, Phelan scuffling forward, David White, it would have been some header to beat Schmeichel from that, it's a sign of hope though for City, see one of their full-backs Terry Phelan getting forward, and White couldn't keep it down. Hughes. Off goes Lee Sharp. Two speed merchants together, he and Phelan. Sharp's cross. Dealt with by Bonk. Irwin. Now a break for City with Mike Sheeran. Quinn has pulled away in the middle. There is Niall Quinn! 22 minutes played. And the blue half of Manchester ecstatic. They come into this game as second favourites by a margin. What a good header. Quinn, bouncing away from Pallister, chance of another here, saved by the legs of Schmeichel, then a block by Pallister from Sheeran, Phelan, Manchester City have come alive, Edgehill, goalkeeper's ball, Couldn't have placed it better, Niall Quinn. Quinn. And McMahon. Not sufficient power to really trouble Schmeichel that time. Void by the goal, City look the force. Brian Horton in his first season in charge. Replaced the popular Peter Reid. Keane to Hughes. Manchester United beaten only once in the Premier League this season so far at Chelsea but trailing here Sharp trying to rectify that Edgehill trailing in his wake Quinn releasing White. And White doing neither one thing nor the other. Phelan. McMahon. Quinn! A 
second for Niall Quinn and Manchester City. David Moss and Brian Horton and Tony Book up off the bench. Niall Quinn in the space of 11 minutes has doubled his tally of Premier League goals for the season. Parker. It's not often that Manchester United find themselves two down at Main Road of all places. Kanchelskis, Cantona. Well, he could do with an upturn in fortunes after that red card in Turkey during the week. Manchester United can justifiably claim to have been to hell and back with their visit to Galatasaray. That's what the banners said out there. Quinn, and that was fairly rough house from Hughes, and there's some retaliation. Tempers spraying. Lickcroft and Hughes this time. Men in red, having the red mist descend, and Robbie Hart with some sorting out to do. It's the initial tangle between Hughes and Quinn that set it all off, that was a result of it. Hughes and Flickcroft, but David White goes into the book for his part in the aftermath. Here's Ince. as well it was wide because City weren't really ready and now Robbie Hart wants more words he is a referee that likes to officiate without the use of cards wherever possible this was quite nasty from Hughes studs on the thigh of Quinn and then White following up and that's what he was yellow carded for Croft. Hughes, that's a good challenge by McMahon and Hughes had a nibble and this time it'll be a card for Mark Hughes he can't claim that he hadn't been warned a lot of acceptance from the Welshman Two men who have never been known to take a backward step, McMahon and Hughes. And it was the fact that Hughes was already pretty enraged that led to his bookable act. It's a tasty game, this. Quinn, turning. Michael Blog. Otherwise he was on for a hat-trick. Final moments of the first half, and City with an opportunity to get a third. Sheeran. And Quinn couldn't get there, Keane does, whistle goes, and Manchester City have upset the form book here by establishing a bridgehead in the Manchester derby, a 2-0 lead, a brace of goals from Niall Quinn, Peter Schmeichel perhaps culpable for the second of them, he was caught in no man's land, 35,000 with warm applause, it's City 2, United 0. It would be a real turn-up if it stays this way. Manchester City, after a shaky start, were very impressive in that first period, pair of goals from Niall Quinn separating these teams Manchester United back at the ground where they used to play in the 1940s Main Road was their home Keane Paul Parker Keane this time blocked by Kernigan
Lee Sharp. Kanchelskis. Cantona. Not a well wide. It's Gary Pallister stealing in. But it's quite a task facing Manchester United, even a team with their renowned powers of recovery. We'd need something special to get anything out of this. Here's Cantona, though. And Cantona has pulled one back. Defensive blunder by Michel Vonk. Seized upon by Cantona, whose week has just got a whole lot better. Not only as far as Cantona. There's Keith Curl. Here's Roy Keane. Driven wide by Pallister. Just as City spent much of the first half pressing strongly at that end of the ground, so United now are doing the same. May wish it had fallen to someone other than a centre back. Cantona. Kanchelskis. Keen. Parker. Roy Keen. Hooked on its way by Curl. Manchester United, one feels, have belatedly found their feet. But is it too late? Sharp. Onto the head of McMahon. Pallister. Kanchelskis. Keen. Kanchelskis once more to Parker. Irwin. Hughes sliding in. And the ball ran loose. For Pallister, who seems to be having most of United's efforts on goal. There was the defensive error from Vonk. Who do you not want to see if you're Manchester City seizing upon it? Bonk, tidied by McMahon. This is Sharon. Straight into the midriff of Flickcroft. And Sharon. Manchester City attacks pretty isolated in this second period. Strong point, 25 yards out. Into the last quarter of an hour. And here's Kanchelskis. He's in behind Edgehill, and that's a good save by Coton. He used all those many years of experience. Stood up as long as he felt humanly possible. And denied the Ukrainian. Uh, 
really good chance though to make it 2-2. Quinn. Here's White. That's a top stop by Schmeichel. It's the sort that we've come to expect that he will make. Man who sets the very highest standards. Hughes. Irwin. Hughes was poised. Cantona. Hughes. First touch for Giggs. And Cantona! Manchester United have come from two down. Sent off in the week in Europe. Now he's given them lift off in the derby at Main Road. And the newly arrived Ryan Giggs was the man who set it up. With a sweeter first time pass as you could wish to see. Now the noise is United noise. Red faces belong to the Blues. Dennis Irwin Ince to Sharp Irwin three waiting Hughes missed Keane didn't Roy Keane for Manchester United three minutes remaining three two off And that's why they're the reigning Premier League champions, because they never, ever accept that they've been beaten. On the half volley, Roy Keane on the spot, on the mark, on the money. Manchester United with their noses in front for the first time. Curl, and how deflated must Manchester City be now? They seem to have it wrapped up. Even ten minutes ago, they still led 2-1. That's a bad challenge. One born of frustration as well as anger by Keith Curl on Cantona. And whilst Robbie Hart, the referee from Darlington, likes to be lenient wherever possible, he has to take action over that. Keith Curl is booked, and he's maybe fortunate it wasn't worse. He came hurtling in, no attempt to play the ball. Could easily have been a red card. The delay for the treatment and the booking will only serve to help the side that now leads. Jim McGregor, the long-serving physio, attending to Cantona's left car. Pretty savage tackle by Curl. Actually, it looks worse each time you see it. This will be a huge win for Alec Ferguson and Brian Kidd and company. Antona will limp through. He'll have to. And there it is! Manchester United win the 128th derby, a game in which they trailed for the vast majority of the time. Niall Quinn, with those two first-half goals, had given City a seemingly winning lead, but two from Cantona, and then a late winner from Roy Keane. Red triumphs over blue, City 2, United 3.
A magnificent comeback from United and it proved to be a glorious season for Alex Ferguson and his team who ran away with the Premiership title and also lifted the FA Cup thanks largely to the goals of Eric Cantona. City ended up in their lowest position since returning to the top flight and it was only a late raid into the transfer market for Uwe Rosler, Paul Walsh and Peter Bigri that ensured their survival.